Hey, I'm reading this article. Or uh, Anthony Joshua says he's baffled where the hell that uh, Joseph Parker gets any confidence from from fighting him and believing that he's going to be Anthony Joshua. This your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with TBC. Y'all know what it is. And he was like, man, <laughs> I'm going to link the article in the description. Anthony Joshua was like, man, I- I'm going to have to reassess Joseph Parker, man. I'm going to <laughs> have to go over some tape because I don't understand, you know, um, you know, where do you believe he's going to trouble me at? He says, physically, you know, he's no contest. And mentally, he's just trying to get in my head. And I can't let that happen. And that's me, too. You know, I don't see, you know, I don't see Joseph Parker being any threat to, to Anthony Joshua, in my opinion. Um, it's a nice amount of people that believe Joseph Parker can, can beat Anthony Joshua. I'm like, have y'all watched his last few fights, dude? I mean, the, the fight he had with Huey Fury, he lost that fight. I don't care what you say. You know, Fury didn't didn't have a lot of aggression, but he, I mean, he he I'll put, he landed the more clean, effective punches than Joseph Parker. He was punching win that whole fight. You go back to the Ronick fight he had in when he had in whatever the guy's name in New Zealand sucked. Go back to the Andy Ruiz fight, and a lot of people thought Andy Ruiz beat him, the most flat, fat, sloppy heavyweight out there. You know, you go back to the Carlos Sakam fight, he struggled in that fight as well. So, where do y'all believe or see this dude being a threat to to, to, to Joseph to Anthony Joshua? You know, people say, oh, he got a granite chin. Okay. You know, people say, oh, he's 240 and he's got a lot of speed. I don't see that. He might be 240, but he looked physically smaller than a lot of heavyweights at 6'4", 240. I mean, physically. I mean, Deontay Waters, 225, 6'7". He looks physically bigger than him to me. You know, Parker is, I don't see the talent. The the talent in the ring. Now, him hitting the pass, training, you know, shadow boxing, I see a little bit of speed, athletic ability. I see the I see I see some things. I see some potential in him at 25 years old. He got a lot of potential until Anthony Joshua knocked the potential right up out his body. Like the Holy Ghost coming out his body. You feel me? But um I don't see it. You know, just like you know, Anthony Joshua said, I'm baffled. I don't understand where where his confidence coming from. I don't either. But I'm pretty sure. I think his confidence is coming from the payday that he's going to get versus Anthony Joshua and able to go back to New Zealand and retire. <laughs> because I think it's going to be brutal. You know, people say, oh, he got a granite chin. I mean, who has he fought on a professional level to let me know that he can just take a big shot from Anthony Joshua? What puncher has he fought that punches remotely close to Anthony Joshua? Please tell me. You know, when he gets stretched, I don't want to hear no excuses. Oh, Joshua is, a you know, he did what he's supposed to do. No. Some people out here believing that Joseph Parker got a chance. He talking people into believing he can win this fight. Don't bet your money on this guy unless the odds are very, very in his favor. And I know it's a heavyweight fight. Anything can happen. Anthony Joshua's been dropped and knocked down and sparring so many times, but that sparring is a real fight. When the lights come on, he tends to perform, you know. I'm um, understanding he got dropped by Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko is a good puncher when he let his hands go, and I feel that. But Joseph Parker ain't no Vladimir Klitschko. He ain't punching like Luis Ortiz. He not punching like Deontay Wilder. He ain't even a fighter like Alexander Povetkin, clean or dirty. He might have been dirty his whole career. I don't see him in that light, man. I really don't. You know, I think he's on a Dylan White level. And I think he may struggle fighting with Dylan White. He might edge him. But I don't see him. I mean Dylan White right now. Not Dylan White before the Anthony Joshua fight. I'm talking about the guy right now. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Anthony Joshua was in the place I'm in right now. This dude was talking cash money, but I, I don't see it. You know, everybody talk about his potential, but I have not seen his potential show up in the ring in a very, very long time. And he just so happened to box his best fight versus Anthony Joshua. In my opinion, I still won't think it's enough. I still think he getting ice, ice, baby. You know, doom, 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 doom. He gonna get iced. We all know it, man. And he talking good to sell the fight and push the numbers up so he could push his purse up. So he gonna make about seven, eight million, nine million dollars here. You know, I feel him. You know, talk. You know, he going through the rigging dial. Uh, he going through the rigging dial motions. You know, get people believing in you, get some people to bet money on you, and you go out there and lay an egg and get starched. And when that happens, people gonna come up with an excuse and try to take it away from Anthony Joshua. Oh, Joseph Parker went a good at the beginning. Da 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 da. But it was the same guy saying that Joseph Parker got a chance because Anthony Joshua really ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on the Joshua side, you're on the Parker side, but. I'm with Anthony Joshua on this thought and in this fight with him saying he's baffled how Joseph Parker is feeling good and feeling and liking his chances in this fight. I don't see it, man. When you're struggling, you really lost to Huey Fury. You're struggling with Takam and Ruiz and Ronick, whatever the other guy's name is. He shouldn't even be a world champion with the fights he didn't struggle to really